guys, it's Lisa from the blog farmhouseonboon.com and today I want to show you how to make a linen or cotton tank for summer. If you all watch my videos very often, you might notice that I wear a certain tank all the time and it's just because I picked it up at Target and I love the way that it fits and it's a linen blend so it gets really soft with each wash and I kind of studied the construction of it and noticed that it was a very very simple tank top so what I want to show you in this tutorial how to do is create a tank top from one that you already have and like the fit so the first thing you're gonna do is get a tank top that you like Turn it inside out and then trace around it onto a fabric that you don't really care about. So I first made this tank from some leftover ticking I have. It's not the right fabric. It's really thick, not the best tank top fabric. But I didn't really have another use for this fabric at the moment. So I wanted to try it out on this just to see if the shape that I got was a good shape because I didn't want to cut into my linen fabric with a pattern that I wasn't sure about yet. So I made it all the way through. This is called making a muslin and that is just where you make something from a fabric you don't care about. You could actually use muslin, which is very, very inexpensive. I think it's like a dollar or two a yard. So you could even run up and grab some of that. So that way you can try this without having to waste any fabric. As you'll notice, I added a little bit around the sides for seam allowance and around the arms and the back. And then I also gave some length to the bottom because I have a long torso and I find that my original tank top is a little bit short. You can, of course, adjust it for your own needs and specifications. There will be a try on later on in this tutorial before you sew it completely together so that you can kind of make sure that it's fitting okay. Now, as you can see, I'm cutting the slit in the back for the button for the opening and button area, but I do find that this tank goes on really well without me ever unbuttoning it, so you can omit this part if you would rather. Now, the front piece is the exact same, except for it just has a neckline that goes down deeper, so to get the shape, I'm going to fold the back piece in half and then line it up on the fold with the fabric that I'm gonna use for the front piece, and then after I get the shape, I'm just going to add the deeper neckline, which I can copy from my original tank top. So whenever I made this pattern, first I copied it onto this to construct together. But before I sewed this together, I copied the pattern pieces onto some vintage sheets because I don't wanna take this back apart to find the pattern that I made. So now I can actually keep that as my pattern. I always fold in half and make sure that everything is even on each side before proceeding with sewing it. Now I decided to make some darts for this to just make it a little bit more shapely. You definitely don't have to. I just ironed the darts in place. You can kind of see that it makes an angled shape and then sewed them. I have seen a lot of linen shirts online that do not have the darts, so I definitely think that you can omit this step if it scares you. Next, I cut out the back piece. I trimmed the sides where the darts are just to make them even. And then I went to my machine to sew down each side seam and each of the top straps with right sides together.
Before finishing it, it's good to try it on to be sure that you like the shape because you can, of course, cut the neckline a little deeper. You can take it in on the sides a little bit more, but you can't do it after the next step. So it's a good time just to make sure that everything is fitting right, that the length is good. You could trim it if you want to. Next, I just went ahead and cut out a long one inch strip. Now this is what I'm gonna use to finish off all of these raw edges around the armholes and the neck. The first spot that I'm gonna do it is I'm gonna line this up with the very top with right sides together around the neck hole, leaving a little edge here on the end. And I'm just gonna sew really, really close to the edge all the way around. Now when I came to the end, I just trimmed it and then I pressed it flat toward the inside so that I'm left with a nice clean edge here. After that, I folded it under and then pressed that in place all the way around creating sort of a casing here with the raw edges hidden inside. I just took it over to my machine and I sewed first near the pressed edge all the way around and then down near where it was folded down all the way around. See that creates a nice finished edge all the way around the neckline. Next, I folded a small section of one of my one inch strips into a little piece for the button to go through. Now, if you are omitting the button and the slit in the back, you can obviously not do this part. I attach the one inch piece around the button slit area in the exact same way that I did the neckline, just attaching the one inch piece close to the edge folding it in and pressing it and then folding it again and then sewing all the way around those two areas. Now I noticed when I first made this that the area that came down for the button stuck out just a little bit. So I just sewed a little V right at the bottom of it to keep it tucked in place. At this point, I use the little overlap that I left around the neckline to hide the ends of the little slit piece inside, as you can see, and I also slipped in the button loop.
made a very basic hem just by folding the edge under twice and then sewing very narrowly all the way around. I like to just do it as I go. Some people like to press it in place before doing this. I just go a little ways, fold it a couple times, sew a little bit, go a little more, fold it, go a little bit more, and use that kind of a method, which works great for me. Next, I finished the armholes in the exact same way that I finished the neckline and the little button slit area by attaching a one inch strip close to the edge, pressing it open, and then pressing the excess under to hide all the raw edges inside and sewing in place. On the armholes, I did trim the ends and sew them together so that they met so that I could make them into a circle. I just do this by going most of the way around and then seeing where they meet up and then sewing them in place. This just makes it to where there is no guesswork. You can take this in a bunch of different directions. You can add a ruffle to the bottom. You can make it more of a straight fit rather than a bell here at the bottom. You could add sleeves. You could do a button in the back or not, but it's really simple to copy a simple shape like this which I've noticed right now, the style is kind of a 90s vibe going on. And these tank tops that are kind of loose fitting and not very shapely are really in style, which super easy to sew. So it makes it nice if you're not an expert sewer, but you do want to sew some of your own clothes. That's the category I fall in. I did show you guys how to make a linen dress when I was pregnant. And I still wear that dress now because it fits great even not pregnant, but I'm not an expert. I'm gonna link below where I made that linen dress. Uh, you can check that out. It's a good dress for winter. All right, well, thank you so much for watching this video. I hope that I've given you the confidence to try your hand at making your own clothes, a simple tank like this. You could even grab some fabric from a local thrift shop. You could use some vintage sheets that you find for a dollar at a thrift shop and just try your hand at it until you get the shape right and then you can make your own linen tank as well. And once you get it right, you can keep repeating it, repeating it. I'm gonna probably have three or four of these and that's just gonna be the rest of my summer wardrobe because I like simple tanks, jean shorts, that's summer for me. And so this is a way for me to whip up all my own clothes. I also like the way that tanks like this look with a long sleeve denim button up shirt over it open with the sleeves rolled up. I think that looks really nice as well. And so these will just carry me even through to the fall. And then of course, if you know, I'm out and about and I spot some pretty fabrics at a thrift shop or Joann's or wherever I am, I can easily make up more of these because I've saved my pattern from the vintage sheets that I did originally. Thank you so much for watching. If you're new, please hit that subscribe button. I make two new videos every week on food from scratch, natural living, and a handmade home. Thank you so much for stopping by the farmhouse.